Okay, what is going on my fitted collectors? It's just Fitness and we're back with another video. In today's video, I am wearing the Star Wars Death Star White Sox by myself. Death Star White Sox, you see the Death Star in the side patch, boom. This came out of Brooklyn Caps. If you don't have this hat, this hat's really fire. I like it. So anyway, Today's video is going to be a little bit controversial. I'm probably going to be hearing about it all next year. If I do, it is what it is. But man, top five has stores of 2023. This isn't based off my own opinion. This is kind of based off just what I've taken notice of the fitted community this year and like where people are buying from, where people are collabing with and, you know, what's called what's causing the most stir within a community. This is this is what it's going based off of. So, first on that list is 95 North. 95 North has been collabing with every, they started collabing with everybody this year. They kind of kicked it off as far as collaborations this year. So you have to, you know, give people their props while, they have, while they're still here. So shout out to Ms. Belez, shout out to Kuda. 95 North definitely did their thing this year. They dropped some really dope hats. I dropped my first hat at there and they dropped, man, they've been coming out with some crazy hats, even more so recently. Like you guys seen New Air Boys White Sox, two Yankees that I just seen, and Indians I just seen uh, that are absolutely crazy. So if you see this video, hit me up. I may need that <laughs> if I can. But yeah, if you're in the Discord, get in their Discord, try to get their hats. Man, 95 North out in Sanford, Connecticut. Pretty sure I said that right. Definitely tune in with them. Definitely follow them on Instagram. They have some great hats. I'm not going to lie. They cause a lot of stir in the community. And I feel like they, they're kind of like Steph Curry in a way. You saw how Steph Curry changed the NBA, shooting all these threes and stuff. 95 North kind of changed the game when it came to making hats right now. Because, I mean... I, and this is just going off based off what, what you're seeing in the community. Like everyone's doing metallic logos, metallic. They kind of started that wave. And like, I think it's important just to um, really be honest on like what we see. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone knows that metallics overall kind of came from John Jay, kind of came from Toppers, Pat with their Toppers. But 95 North really made a name for themselves this year. And hey, kudos to them, man. Kudos to them, most definitely. All right. Burdine, Chicago. Even though Burdine's, even though they were under construction and had like a venue and stuff most of the year, bro, they were killing it. Ronnie did a great job. AMS did a great job there. Paulie did a great job there. Carlos did a great job there. Man, like uh, Burdine's was really killing it this year. Um, and I know they got a bunch of great collabs coming up in 2024 as well. They really did their thing in their new store. You saw their new store in my previous video. New store looks awesome. The vibes in there in person are great. If you're in Chicago, I definitely recommend you go stop at Birdie in Chicago. Definitely, definitely some good vibes over there. Shout out to Jerry. Shout out to his brother. You guys are great over there. Keep doing your thing. Shout out to, shout out to Birdie's. DMP, DMP. It's out here on the East Coast. I feel like DMP definitely did their thing as well. I'm, I believe it's a pro image store. I believe it's a pro image store. But uh, they did a lot of collaborations with a lot of my personal friends, a lot of few other people as well. DMP really has been on the uprise this year, most definitely as far as their hats. Um, if you haven't seen their drops, if you haven't seen people that's collaborated with them, I definitely recommend you check it out because they're definitely making some really good hats over there. Shout out to DMP, man. Pro Image Fox Hills. I feel like Pro Image Fox Hills makes like the best LA hats. Granted, only I probably have like one hat from them, but there were a few that I wanted to get that I wasn't able to get. But I feel like Pro Image Fox Hills has been killing it and kind of one of the more popular stores over there on the West Coast, along with Capanova, of course. But I feel like Pro Image Fox Hills, they're doing their thing over there. Shout out to A Brims, even Gray Bottoms. Gray Bottoms came out with some dope. LA has this year, man. Yeah, Pro Image Fox Hills is definitely doing their thing, 100%. Like, shout out to them. Uh, and then we're gonna go 606 Brims. I dropped seven hats with 606 Brims this year. Um, if you haven't seen those hats, they're on my Instagram, or I'll just 
put them right here as well. But 606 Brims definitely did their thing. They did a lot of collaborations this year. They came out some pretty good hats. Uh, I'm not mad at them at all. So if you're in Chicago, check out 606, check out Burdines, uh, check out Sports World, check out, you know, um, check out Clark Street. There's a lot of different stores that came out with a lot of good hats out of Chicago. But yeah, shout out to 606, man. So yeah, five stores. 95 North, Birdings, DMP, Pro Image, Fox Tills, 606. No particular order. These are just hats. These are just stores that I feel like we're really showcasing a lot of different things this year and we're really on the come up this year. So again, it's, been, it's just been it. I can't wait to see what these stores do in 2024. I think it's going to be a lot of great things coming from all these stores in general. So yeah, you guys have a good one. Peace.